now we look at slfr is to share base payment right first we'll look at what does it mean by a share base payment share base payment is a transaction that may happen or that may occur with either employee or other than employee say for an example a supplier right uh, simply if I tell you uh, normally companies are getting the service of uh, employees right in return they pay salaries um, also like companies are purchasing items from suppliers right items in the sense they are purchasing goods and services to maybe for the resale purpose from the customers right uh, them need to be paid back right so they may have to pay cash for that right either whatever the service that they get from uh, supplier or they they get from uh, the employee they need to pay right for the the service that they get from the employees they pay salaries for the, um, uh, the items that they gave get from the uh, the suppliers they pay cash right okay so what share base payment is, is when you are getting a service from either from your employee or from your suppliers instead of making the payment by cash to them you can settle the amount by issuing your company shares or some other instrument which is equivalent to your company shares which may be uh, say for an example a share option we'll see what is share option right or else sometimes you can pay right an amount or you can agree to make a payment to your employee or to your supplier based on your share price two things one thing is you are getting the service say for an example you are getting the service from uh, your employee isn't it you get the employee service when you uh, get the employee service you pay them back salary by cash but here share what happened in a share based payment they get the service and in turn giving cash they agree to give company shares in future or give option to buy company shares in future that is one thing the second thing when you take service from your supplier or for service from your employee instead of giving them cash we give them an uh, amount of cash which is um, derived right that cash amount is designed based on the share price of the company the first what is the difference between the first one in the first case you give them the shares the second one you are not giving shares instead you are giving cash but that cash amount is depend on the share price of the company right so that is called share based payment share based payment occurs when an entity buys or goods or service from uh, the other party such as employee or the supplier and settle the amount payable by issuing shares or share options or incurs liability for cash payments based on the share prices right okay so that is called the share based payment that means we are going to make a pay payment based on the shares right so you can see by issuing shares or the share options so income liabilities based on its share price right the second one is types of share based payment right there are three types of share based payments the first one we call equity settled share based payment that is entity acquires goods or service in exchange for an equity instrument of the uh, of the entity second one is cash settled share based payment which means the entity acquires goods or service in exchange for an amount cash measured by reference to the share prices palavini ke kiwe oya company ke oya oya company ke supply ke ne gen hari employee ke ne gen hari service ekak ganna e service ekak wenota oya denne monawada cash oya denne shares second ke oya denne cash depending on your share price third type transaction in which entity receives or acquired good or service and either entity or the supplier 
has a choice as whether the entity settled the transaction in cash or by issuing equity. It's sort of a hybrid or sort of a mix of the above two. But in your syllabus, we're going to discuss about this cash settled share based payment as well as the equity settled share based payment, right? The, we're going to discuss the equity settled share based payment and the cash settled share based payment. Right, okay. First, we look at what does it mean by equity settled share based payment transactions and how we have to account for these equity settled share based payment transactions. Right, what is equity settled share based payment transaction in the sense uh, this is the, the, the first part what we discussed, right? An equity settled share based payment is a share based transaction in which an entity receive goods or service as consideration for its own equity instruments. Right now, that means company receive goods or a service. Uh, it can appear that the employee can a company uh, worker no kela kena appear agi service se ka gan no. If na tapi company ke supply agi badu gan no na tapi company ka ta uh, that is comes under that right. Receiving goods or service as a consideration for its own equity instruments. Appear appear equity instruments ma tamai dekhi including shares or the share options or else. Receive goods or a service, but no, but but has no obligation to settle the transaction with the supplier. Up to badu gan no, abe abe yar obligation ne ka kine kisi ma obligation ne ka kape ne. Ani yebara thamai abe kya ani equity settle share base. Simply me me hitan ne ko. Wa company ke employee ke ne ging service theke gan no. Mangye employee ta abe no ta shares dena. Supplier ke ne ging badu gan no, abe no ta cash dena, shares dena company. That is called equity settled share base payment. That means I settle this payment by issuing equity, right? So when you discuss or when you understand this standard, there are like uh, few definitions that you want to know about, right? One is share option. While a halte share options, again, share options ki niwa, then Lanka we want to go back with our then share market to get another one. Share market take again than Hindu other no share market take shares transaction when okay. Share option key and look at this the word option option can our star up then you are given an opportunity, right? It is not something like you don't have any liability, liability or obligation. You can hurry to me again. It can a key in a man what option they got been none x key in a company key share a cock out of the king. Rupiah C ya kita purchase kerana ni kira, right? Oya itu mana option ni kak dina? Mangu ya itu option ni kak dina? Liu mak pagi kodi kali ella dina, right? Oya itu thama urut dekhing X ki ena company ke share ya kak Rupiah C ya kita purchase kerana puluang kira, right? Oya urut dek gihil la X ki ena company ke share ya kak balno share market teki, share market teki A share ya kak purchase kerana nam Rupiah lekasi ya panahai, awa mukadu kerana ni, watang gala. मगेंगे भी ला अरे शेयर के परचेस करना मुकदर मार्केट टिकिंग का तो तुम्हारे रुपए लेकर सिर्फ आना है क्या ना वाह है बे मगेम परचेस करने मामा ऑप्शन ने का कोड दिला दिया और पैसे ये करता अन्य एक अगर तुम्हारे ऑप्शन ने का किन्तु तो ऑप्शन ने का क्या लगे अन्य इट इस अ कंट्रैक्ट पूरी कंट्रैक्ट के Transaction ni ke, mama atik ke transaction ni ke agree bela, ini transaction ni ke agree bela, ia atik ke share option ni ke dila, option ni ke dini, X ke na company ke share ka rupiah C itu purchase kerana pulu angkia la, X ke na company ke share ka rupiah anu angkat gigi, ia magin purchase kerai dah, ne, ini, ia muka dah kerana purchase kerana share ka share market tinggi, muka dah ada wasi share market tinggi share option share ka gan na gan ni ke. ऑप्शन ने कि उसके तो मार्किंग करना तो वाला आपको तो मार्किंग करते रुपया सी है ये आगे करते रुपया मार्केट टेकिंग करते रुपया लान लोग आए एक आय क्या है तो इतना लाइब्रेरी का तीन है ना ये अनिवार्य है और उद्देश्य पर से मार्किंग शेयर का रुपया सी टेक करना ये हमें कब में ही हैज एन ऑप्शन दैट the entity's share at a fixed or a determinable price for a specified period of time. Our the game pass. I pay share. I can make an option. Option. Right? Okay. 
ඒක තමයි අපි මේ දැන් ඉක්විටි සෙටල් ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් කියන එක කතා කරද්දී ආ අපිට කතා කරේ අපි මෙතනදී දෙන්නේ මොනවද ඔයාගේ කම්පැනි එක ඔයා එම්ප්ලොයි ගෙන් සර්විස් එක ගන්න. ඒ සර්විස් එක ගන්නවා වෙනවට මම සැලරි ගෙවන්නේ. මම කම්පැනි එකේ මොනවද දෙනවද? ෂෙයාස් දෙනවා. එහෙම නැත්නම් කම්පැනි එකේ ෂෙයාස් ගන්න මම ඔප්ෂන් එකක් දෙනවා. අර වගේ ඔප්ෂන් එකක් මම දෙනවා යාට පර්චේස් කරා. So that is called the share based payment. Right. Now when it come to this the first category we first uh, the definition we discussed is the share option, right? Okay. Right. Second one the grant date. තව එක definition එකක් තියෙනවා grant date එකක් කියලා. grant date right so what is grant date grant date is the date at which the entity and other party agree to a share based payment agreement simply එක මතක දෙයක් දැන් මම කිව්වොත් මගේ company එකේ employee කෙනෙක් තමයි ඔයා ඔයාට මම කියනවා මගේ company එකේ වැඩ කරොත් මම ඔයාට මගේ company එකේ තව අවුරුදු තුනක් වැඩ කරොත් මම ඔයාට මගේ company shares ගන්න share option එකක් අද දෙනවා අවුරුදු තුනකින් ඔයාට මගේ company shares රුපියල් 100ට purchase කරන්න පුළුවන් අන්න මම ඒකට දෙනවා අද අපි ඒග්‍රිමන්ට් එකට ආවන that date we call the grant date the grant date is the date at which the entity and other party including employee agree to a share based payment agreement right so that is the date where we agreed to uh, this share based payment අදන නම් agree වුනේ අද තමයි අපි කියන්නේ grant date එක right there's another definition Vesting condition, right? Vesting condition are the condition that determine whether the entity receive the service that entitle the counterparty to receive cash, right? Vesting condition are condition. Vesting condition. This is another technical term used in this standard, right? Vesting condition are the condition that determine. This is a condition that determine whether the entity receive the service the, that entitle the counterparty to receive cash, other assets, or the equity instrument of the entity under the share based payment agreement. Now, simply, if I give you an example, I am saying to my employee, right? I will give you five hundred share options you to buy our company shares. after 3 years but you have to work for 3 years in agree we are agreeing with the employee you have to work 3 years you have to work 3 years in the sense what is it you have to work 3 years in the sense i am putting a condition that you want to work 3 years which is called the vesting condition read Vesting condition are the condition that determine whether entity receive the service that entitle the counterparty to receive cash, other assets, or the equity instrument of the entity under the share based agreement. Vesting condition is either service condition or performance condition. अभी बाला मो एक पास से. Next one, the vesting period. Vesting period is the period during which all specified vesting condition of a share based payment arrangement are being satisfied. Right now, in our example, अभी क्यों भी अवरुद्ध तो ना वैध करने दोनी किया ला इधर vesting condition ने कहता है वैध करने दोनी how long vesting period is how many years three years. Right. So we look at this example. So in this example, you have uh, a company has issued uh, share option to its executive directors on 1st january 2017 as a part of their remuneration package package i can company ki issue kala thina share options yalage directors lata remuneration package ekey part ekak widihata share option can exercise on 1st july january 2020 that is after completing 5 years etoda මේ මේක ගත්තොත් මේකේ grant date එක අපි මේ agree වෙන දවස වෙන්නේ කවද්ද 1st january vesting period එක කවද්ද වෙන්නේ 1st january 2030 2017 to 1st january 2020 කියන 5 year period මොකද්ද මේක තියෙන vesting condition the com- the employee have to work for 5 years that is the vesting condition right hope you can clear right with that definition now we'll move how to measure this share based payment especially the equity settled share based payment right okay standard says when you measure the equity settled share based payment those kind of transaction you have to measure at the fair value right you want to get the fair value right ikkiyanne 
මේ ට්‍රාන්සැක්ෂන් එකක් වුණොත් දැන් මෙතන අපි ට්‍රාන්සැක්ෂන් එකක් කියලා කියන්නේ එක්කෝ එම්ප්ලොයි කෙනෙකුගෙන් ඒ එම්ප්ලොයි මගේ කම්පැනි එකේ වැඩ කරන එක හින්දා මම එයාගෙන් සර්විස් එකක් හම්බෙනවා that is also transaction or else i am buying some goods or i am getting a service from outside party we call them a supplier supplier කෙනෙක් ගේ බඩු ගන්නකොට නැත්නම් සර්විස් එකක් ගන්නකොට අන්න ඒකට අපි කියනවා මොනවා කියලාද මේ transaction එක crime so transaction can be happen either with an employee or other than employee other than employee in the sense you can refer them as a supplier දැන් අපිට කිව්වේ මොකද්ද ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් එක කියන්නේ ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් ට්‍රාන්සැක්ෂන් ඉෆ් ඉට් ඉස් ඉක්විටි සෙටල් ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් ට්‍රාන්සැක්ෂන් යූ වොන්ට් ටු මෙෂර් ඉට් යූසින් ද ෆෙයා වැලි රයිට් නව් දෙස් අ මැටර් කම්ස් වෙන් යුර් ගෙටින් අ සර්විස් ෆ්‍රොම් යුර් එම්ප්ලොයි හවු ටු ඩිටර්මයින් අ ෆෙයා වැලි එම්ප්ලොයි කෙනෙක් ගින් සර්විස් එක ගන්නකොට ඔයා කොහොමද ෆෙයා වැලි එක ඩිටර්මයින් කරන්නේ කියන එක employee gain service එක employee gain service එක ගන්නකොට කොහොමද වා fair value එක determine කරන්නේ it's like thing when you're taking a fair value that transaction have to happen on the arms length basis but employee in the sense he's a person who loyally work into work to my organization so in that case i can't get or i can't get the fair value of this transaction i can't get it reliably I can't estimate it reliably. Why? I can't say it is fair value because he is my employee. In the standard deka kiya nama, wagi employee dene service ekada fair value ekak ganna be. E employee magi company ke weda karana ekada fair value ekak denna mecharai. Wagi watina ama rupiya 100 ai, wagi watina ama lakshi ai. Wa me dene service ekak. I can't tell it like that way. So we call that fair value of the transaction cannot be estimated reliably. standard එක කියනවා if it is the case right if that is the case right if that is the case you want to measure look at this right if that is the case you want to measure right what you want to do you want to measure this transaction by reference to the fair value of the equity instrument granted at the grant date but it's say right what do you want to do you want to measure this transaction right you want to measure this transaction right you want to measure this transaction by reference to the fair value of equity instrument thing we are to yage employee king hambena ma service ekata fair value ekak denna beri hinda ya kiyena oya agree wena option eka netta oya agree wena share eka thiyena e share eke fair value eka oyage transaction eke fair value eka widiyata ganna ayye ඔය employee gain service එක ගත්තට ඒ service එකට ඔයාලට fair value එකක් දෙන්න බෑ. ඉන්න ඔයාලට කියනවා you know what ඔයා කියනවනේ ඒ service එකට මම ඔයාලට දෙන්නම් shares මගේ company අන්න එහෙම නම් ඒ share එකේ market value එක අරගන්නලු මේ transaction එකේ fair value එක විදියට. So that is called the uh, under the transaction if the transaction happen with what with who employee. එහෙනම් employee කෙනෙක් එක්ක transaction එක වුණා. මොකද කරන්න කියන්නේ fair value එක ගන්න කියන්නේ transaction එකේ fair value එක නෙමෙයි ඔයා agree වෙන equity instrument එකේ fair value එක transaction එකේ fair value එක විදිහට consider කරන්න the second scenario if this happen other than with an employee other than employee කියන්නේ ඔය company කින් supply කෙනෙක් supply කෙනෙක් ගෙන් බඩු ගන්නකොට මොකද වෙන්නේ we do that transaction on the upstream basis නේ අපි සාමාන්‍ය supply කෙනෙක් company එකට බඩු ගන්නවා නේ company එකට supply ගේ බඩු ගන්නේ අපි arms length basis හරිද arms length basis තමයි අපි supply ගේ බඩු ගන්නේ අන්න ඒ වගේ වෙලාවකදී standard එක කියනවා there is a rebuttable presumption that the fair value of transaction can be is measured or estimated reliably can be estimated reliably right rebuttable presumption what do you mean by rebuttable presumption i think this is the first time that you learn about this rebuttable presumption rebuttable presumption that means breakable assumption it looks like breakable it's like if you can rebut what a puluwan nan tarakekin meka ne kiyala oppu karanna oppu karanna puluwan habai mama kiyanne nan puluwan kiyala hemata ma standard ek kiyanne standard say there is a rebuttable man kiyena there is a rebuttable presumption mama kiyena 
supply එක වෙගෙන් බණුව හරි අපි බඩුවක් ගත්තොත් ඒ වැලියු එකට fair value එක කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් කියලා standard එක කියනවා but standard say this assumption is what rebuttable this is a rebuttable presumption if you can prove prove it and tell that this is not no this is not the case you can't get the fair value so i am not getting the fair value of the transaction i am taking the fair value of the instrument like in uh, the transaction what you have uh, had with the employee employee kene gaddi komat kiwani ganda be kiyala athota anne e hinda man mokada karanne employee kene ge komat ganda beri hinda man kare instrument ke fair value ekak thamai transaction ke fair value ekak gatta ekama mama ganna kiyala metanta ganna puluwan mona unoda if i can rebut it otherwise question otherwise the standard say this is a rebuttable presumption you can rebut it or else i am saying standard ekena mama nan kiyanne ඔයා employee කෙනෙක්ගෙන් ඇරෙන්න වෙනකාගෙන් හරි service එකක් ගත්තොත් ඒකට fair value එකක් තියෙනවා. ඉන්න ඒ fair value එකට වඩා transaction එක record කරන්න පුළුවන්. කියලා rebuttable presumption එකක්. If you can rebut. Right. So it says if it can be estimated reliably you can uh, get the fair value of the goods or the service received. කෙලින් ඔයා ඒ වගේ වෙලාවකදී transaction එකේ fair value එක විදිහට ගන්න ඔයාට හම්බෙච්ච service එකේ value එක. If not again go back to the previous law which means you can take right fair value of the equity instrument uh, grant at the grant date we are to rebut karanna onna netta wa hitana nam fair value ekak ganna vidiyak ne kiyala employee supply kenek gin una still you can go with the first rule that is called what you can go with the fair value of the equity instrument at the grant date hope you can clear right Mm, I think you can clear the facts because uh, it says uh, uh, the two things, right? It says two things. Uh, this transaction either can be happen, right? Anyway, you have to measure the equity settle share based payment transaction by using the fair value. This transaction can be happen with an employee or other than employee. If the transaction happen with the employee, standard say that you can't. measure the fair value or you can estimate the fair value reliably therefore don't take the fair value of the service that you give get from your employee instead of get the fair value of the equity instrument uh, at the grant date remember it you want to take the fair value of the instrument at the grant date uh, you want to get the fair value of the instrument at the grant date Uh, and that fair value you want to use as the fair value of your transaction but if it is other than an employee which means if it is from a supplier there is a rebuttable presumption in the stand it says no if you are getting the service or goods from other than employees you can reliably estimate the fair value so use that fair value or else if you can't take it go back to the previous um rule which is fair value of the equity instrument granted at the granted date right okay i think with this question you can get an idea about that right look at the question the first question right meantime you can use the uh, the uh tute also right tute also have the same question um, you have the question uh, here right the question right So the following information on the share based payment has extracted from the Asia Travels PLC: 500 employees were paid a proportion of their remuneration in share options. Look at the 500 employees in our company. Okay, were paid proportion of their remuneration in share option. The company could agree with that, you know, right? Over under salary given, you know. By apply all the employee benefit take could be known. At that time. අපි ඔයාලා වෙනුවෙන් එක්ස්පෙන්ස් එකකුත් අපි ඉන්ක කරනවා. ඒ තමයි අපි කම්පැනි කි ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන්ස් ෂෙයාස් ගන්න ඔප්ෂන්ස් වලට දෙනවා. 600 ඔප්ෂන් වර් ග්‍රාන්ටඩ් ටු ඊච් එම්ප්ලොයි ඔන් 1st ඒප්‍රිල් 2019 at which that date the fair value of the company share was rupees 12 and the fair value of each share option was 5. අතර මතක තියාගෙන. ඉතින් මොනවද මේ එම්ප්ලොයිස් ලට දෙන්නේ? 500 එම්ප්ලොයිස් ලා ඉන්නවා කම්පැනි එකේ. the paid proportion of their remuneration in share me agulant dila thine shares the share options the share options mat patla gande pa dila thine share options shares dila ne me company share options shares ganda option ekak thamai dila thi 600 option were granted to each employee ek employee kenekota dena kochara 600 options kawadda meka dila thine 1st april 2019 what is it grant date 
right? At which date the fair value of the company shares is 12 and fair value of each share option is 5. And now we consider grand on me grand date to keep the share price second the grand date to share option price second the share option price second right a cock right because this particular service has received from employees second one a supplier other than employee employee connected is supply connect neither a supplier was paid 12,000 newly issued shares for the goods supply you had to deal with you know shares 12,000 shares shares supply was paid 20 newly issued share for the supply the fair value of the goods supply was 1.1 billion. Big got the good seller. Uh, fair value we keep 1.1 million. It the come up with the deal. You know, share I got a price. Second me that was a hundred. Then what a pull on me transaction. I got come a base color. And the share price second base color. Me mother got the end of the second question. The key the up to the deal at the end of the company. Key the deal at the shares. Following the key the share options. Then come the balanoni. Palavinaka transaction with the employee. Him on the Mukadiki come up at a standard dick. Employee can again, you can't get the fair value of the transaction. Instead, you want to get the fair value of the equity instrument at the grand date. Grand date to keep equity instrument to get the my grand date. Second situation, Niki the Mukadi Dilatin of a service of the Dilatin other than shareholder. Sorry, other than employee. Other than employee, na, api mukadha karan ni, api dila thi na, other if it is an other than employee, ni, if it is an other than employee, standard says there is a rebuttable presumption. Rebuttable presumption. That rebuttable presumption says no, you can get the fair value when you purchase goods or a service, or when you get a service from other than an employee. So we have given that service amount, walo patalan me the na dila thi na, right? So we'll see how to get the fair value. For the part one, right, each employee will be getting 600 options. There are 500 employees. The value of a share option at the grand date is how much? That is 5 rupees. So you can take this, the fair value of this transaction as 1.5 million, right? Why this happened with the employee? Employees, the transaction amount, you can't get what? The fair value. So instead, you are using what? The fair value of the particular equity instrument grant at the grant date right okay the second one you are getting the service from the supplier but in that case you are then uh, if you are taking the share price you can take 12,000 multiplied by 100 that is 1.2 million right so you are not taking that why there's a rebuttable presumption this is the fair value so you can measure the transaction value for its fair value of 1.1 million understood right Okay. Next one. Recognition of an equity settled share based payment. How to recognize that in the financial statement? Right? Remember, where the equity instrument granted by the company west immediately, then the transaction is recognized on the grant date. Example example the employees then it in him employee can get a book of the windy they are getting 600 option of the humbilla that is called west immediately there's no wasting period are still a pick up a great wasting period three years even a they move the grant west immediately in a company a key in a where the equity instrument granted by the company west immediately that is counterparty is entitled immediately other may are entitled you know the machine option sale at the end of a then the transaction is recognized on the grant date where the equity instrument do not vest immediately, the counterparty has to meet specified vesting condition. The transaction is recognized over the vesting period. company option recognize How to put the double entry? You have to debit expense account and you have to credit what? the equity account remember why we credit here the equity because this is an equity settled share based payment remember the entity sorry the entry to equity is normally reported under the other component of equity share capital is not affected until the share based payment is vested right come the double entry the expense account debit equity account credit 
एक्सपेन्स अकाउंट के डेबिट कर ला इक्विटी का क्रेडिट करा दे में तो इक्विटी के ला क्रेडिट करा दे अब केली में का शेयर कैपिटल के लिए क्रेडिट करा दे में राइट अभी दान ने मुकेट दे अदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ इक्विटी की याने कट क्या ने में हम गातु तो आगातु में स्टेटमेंट ऑफ चेंजेस इन इक्विटी के देना में स्टेटमेंट ऑफ चेंजेस इन इक्विटी के में में अदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ इक्विटी के ना कॉलम में कट तमाम यहाँ पे में का रेक्रेडिट कराने में नेतू एक शेयर कैपिटल के टेक तो कर लेते हैं ना निन्हें now if there is a transaction with parties other than employees other than employees then can me wage udahana kidata api gihilla ape company ekata padu wage ganna it was api kiwut api thenga other than employees no other than employees in the sense that may be a supplier api supply kene ekin ada badu eragena api kiyana right oya mage company at ek avurudu thunak hitiyoth man owata me ada ganna badu wala salli dena kiwut ehema will that supplier like to give us अपने बड़ू को मत देने नहीं थी वे नहीं इधर राइट अन्य ये वाकी इफ़ द ट्रांसैक्शन विथ इस विथ पार्टी अदर देन एम्प्लॉयज ट्रांसैक्शन विथ पार्टी अदर देन एम्प्लॉयज नॉर्मली वेस्ट इमीडिएटली वेस्ट इमीडिएटली सामान्य अदर बड़ू का तो अदर मापी में ये वाकी ये वांडे वे देयरफॉर they are measured at the fair value of the goods or the service provided recognized when the goods or service are provided नहीं इधर मेशर कराने मुकर दे because there's a repeatable presumption other than employee can again got to a goods and service seller fair value because up to measure around the pool but if it is recognized when the goods or service sorry it is recognized when the goods or service recognized provided other topic body to go do none of them are people could be again amount to recognize car gun of financial statement but when it comes to the transaction with employees transaction is employees not vested immediately someone employees लेट अच्छे आस दिन दी कपाट अब यो लेट अधिशे आस दिन आके ले देने वो कुछ कंडीशन ने करता है ना अड्डों में तारे में उम्र तो भाग उम्र तो तूना मगे कंपनी के वेड़ा करने तो कुछ बाबा देना किया ला सो वी कॉल देम वेस्ट द दैट इज हैपन ओवर वेस्टिंग पीरियड मेशरमेंट सॉरी मेशर्ड एट द फेयर वैल्यू एक्सपेंस अगर रिकॉग्नाइज करांड ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ एस्टिंग ये क्या नहीं देंगे उदाहरण की देता का तो अब यार इस अल एग्जांपल की विदेट हमें एम्प्लॉयज़ ला 500 एम्प्लॉयज़ ला हिटिया ये हमें एम्प्लॉय के निकट में 600 ऑप्शंस दूँ ना नहीं द ये तो टेक ग्रांट कर पु डेट की ये शेयर ऑप्शन की वैल्यू फेयर वैल्यू वे के उन्हें फाइव रुपीस ये इधर तो मापे का ताकि इतने 1.5 मिलियन एक अपार्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन रिकॉग्नाइज करांडे पालो एस्यूम दैट कंपनी के तीव्र ना के लमे एम्प्लॉयज़ लट मैं एम्प्लॉयज़ लट आउट दो थुनाक वैध करो तब मैं मैं 600 शेयर ऑप्शंस देन नहीं किया अरे 1.5 मिलियन एक्सपेंस का अभी रिकॉग्नाइज करना नो नहीं 1 500,000 500,000 500,000 किया अब आउट दो तो नहीं कि ओवर द वेस्टिंग पीरियड एक अपार्ट में एक्सपेंस का डेबिट कर इक्विटी का क्रेडिट कराना है 1.5 मिलियन बिकॉज भाई मेरे में इन्नत पुलवान नहीं इधर वो या और दो तूने में एम्प्लॉयज़ ला हिटी है ना इतना आइन में लगी होती एम्प्लॉयज़ ला इन द स्टैंडर्ड एक अकीय ना वा इट इज़ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट राइट इट इज़ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट स्टैंडर्ड एक अकीय ना इट इज़ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट राइट ओके इट इज़ वेरी the expense recognized in each year of the vesting period should be based on the best available estimate of the number of uh, equity instrument to be expected. Right? It is based on the best estimate. You can see that the employees have passed the same thing, but the expense has to be changed. You can see the employees have passed the same thing, but the scheme is eligible. You can see that the employees have to estimate the same thing. So, standard says, when you allocate in these expenses using the best estimate you want to calculate it right okay we look at this example i think from this example you can learn a lot of things right asia plc issues thousand share options to each 300 managers on 1st april 2017 on this date the fair value of each options was rupees 4 Asia PLC issued 1,000 share options. Neither share 1,000 share options. Dunnalu 
to each of these 300 managers hema manager kenakota me ekkenakota 1000 gaane share options deela thiyena when 1st april 2017 what we call to this day we call this day grant date on this date the fair value of each option was 4 so this is the fair value of the transaction the option vest after 3 years which is called the vesting period is how many years 3 years providing that individual managers will still work to for the company at 31st march the 2018 that is at the first year in the company does not expect any managers to leave so how they should recognize prepare accounting entry requires in respect of the share option in the year in the 31st march 2018 how this will be would be changed if the share option was immediately and the question is part the financial statement to the question there are like vesting after three years again there is a vesting condition service condition like at the service condition like at the three years for a three year vesting period it all about the crown only up the best estimate to the base curl me expense I can recognize curl I got out of the tuna king with the out of the tuna king to recognize crown on a financial statement brother question to keep our two again a him a cup to put in it and if there is no any vesting condition for three years how this will be changed right we'll see right the first one is if the vesting over the three years period right if if the vesting over three year period happen what what will be the answer there are 300 managers right there are 300 managers each will eligible for thousand options right each will eligible for thousand option and the look at this you want to measure this is with the employees now so you want to get the fair value of the equity instrument grant at the grand date right so you have to multiply that by four and since the vesting period is over three years you should recognize the expense for three years so how this is going to be uh, how you're going to put the double entry right how you're going to put the double entry uh, so this is how you're going to put the double entry right debit the staff cost 400,000 and credit the equity 400,000 you debit staff uh, 400,000 and you uh, credit the equity 400,000 staff cost debit 400,000 and debit to the equity 400,000 that's how you recorded that in the financial statement right okay right okay so this is going to be shown in the financial statement but uh, you can see uh, your statement of profit or loss uh, uh, PNL uh, staff cost recognized as a PNL expense right so staff cost is recognized in PNL as 400,000 and the, uh, the other component of it equity will be credited by 400,000 so uh, that is the entry of this uh, 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 calculation right so debit staff cost and credit equity so this so it's going to be shown in the financial statement right in pnl under staff cost you can show 400000 and under the other component of equity you can show 400000 in the statement of financial position right so the part 2 of the question asks what happen if this is west immediately right so if it is west immediately what happened the entire 1.2 million you have to recognize as an expense and the equity so the financial statement will be shown in staff cost of uh, 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 staff cost of uh, it should be 1.2 million as well as the other component of equity 1.2 million right so that's how it shows in the uh, statement of financial position and the PNL and if it is west immediately if it is west immediately you recognize the entire expense on the grant date itself right okay I read this question number three now here you can I get an idea how this the estimation comes because we learn the standard requirement you have to do this on the best estimate right okay read this question 
uh, on 1st January 2017, Asset Management PLC grants 100 share options to each of its 400 employees. Right? There are like 100 share options there. Employees, there are 400 employees. Each grant is conditional on the employee working for the entity until 31st December 2019. That means how many years? Uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2017 January. That means year end is 31st December 2017. Second year is December 31st 2018. Third year is 31st December 2019. That means vesting period is 3 years. Vesting condition is service condition we call it a service condition why employee have to work employee have to service give their service for three years right fair value of uh, each share option is 20 rupees share option price is 20 rupees right so that's how you want to recognize now in the earlier situation what you did was you multiply 100 by 400 employees and multiply that by 20 and you divide that by 3 and recognize the expense now the here the case is little bit different with the second paragraph during 2017 20 employees leave what happened actually 20 employees left in 2017 and the entity estimate 20 percent of employees will leave during the three year period of time now what happened in 2017 20 employees left with that company estimate now during three year period the total number of employees like 20 percent of the total number of employees will be leaving the company that is at the end of the first year what happened in the second year during 2018 further 25 employees leave what happened in the second year 25 employees left the company and the entity now estimate that 25 percent of the employees will leave during the three year period during 2019 further 10 employees left right now we are required calculate the remuneration expense that will be recognized in respect of share based payment transaction for each year of three years in the 31st december okay now uh, we'll take this uh, uh, the uh, your uh, the question also which is in the tut we're doing the question number three right what happened now here uh, you can check uh, in the first year in 2017 year there were how many employees there are 400 employees there and there are 100 option each getting but you are not expecting entire 400 people will be there during three year period of time isn't it then management 20 percent of a company so based on that estimate you want to calculate in the first year you have 400 employees out of that only 80 percent will remain with the business isn't it 20 percent 80 percent those 80 percent is the one who eligible for the this uh, the scheme each getting 100 options and also you want to get the grant value or the, the the fair value of the share option at the grant date or the mother again up equity settle share based payment to the gun fair value of the share option with an equity instrument take a fair value because how that the grant date ticket a lot of exam make a question so the deal at the end of the long year indicated it making fair value because then my share option like it deep with our city and the deep with our second first January 2017 will make a fair value because in 20 rupees Make the number of it a year indicated me on the fair value with the key at the kilo a year indicate value with the gun depa a year standard take a key we cover the value with gun with the grant date value with the gun the killer right okay so you multiply this by the grant date fair value and since the employees have to work for three years you recognize this equity uh, expense over three year period of time right so your amount will be 213,333 you debit the expense account and credit the equity account Right. what happened in the second year second year another 25 people leave and the company believe 25 percent of the employees will leave during the three year period now their assumption is changing uh, now the assumption say that 25 percent will leave that means only out of this 400 employees 75 employees will be remaining in the business with the easy organization so you multiply this by 100 option and again at the fair value of the share option at the grant date 
n now your liability your equity should be equal to two third isn't it because you have excess you have expend you have like um, uh, you have uh, like two years you have it, it the two years has gone now right your equity balance should be equal to four hundred thousand already you have equity balance of 213 therefore you charge 186,667 to the PNL being the reference right so this is the liability we had in the previous year which is 213 this year the liability should be 400,000 so difference is how much 186,667 right that difference you charge to the PNL right if you put the double entry the double entry goes 186,667 debit staff cost PNL and credit the equity, right? Then the equity balance will be equal how much? 400,000, right? So what happened in the third year? Third year, another 10 people left. Now what happened? Now you are at the end of the third year now. Now you know how many employees have actually left the organization still you want to do the estimation no now you know how much is the exact number first year how many employees left 20 second year 25 and third year 10 all together 55 employees left so out of 400 you can deduct 55 multiply 100 multiply 20 and this liability now should be equal to the equal at the free no need to mul multiply this by 3 instead you can multiply this by uh, no need to multiply because the answer will be equal to 690,000, right? Answer will be equal to 690,000. So your liability becomes 690,000 at the end of the third year, right? Third year, so you charge the difference 290,000 to the profit or loss uh, being the difference of uh, this 400,000 and the 690,000. That 290,000 you charge to the PNL, PNL expense debit and credit so this is how you should recognize this expense over a period of time right if you put them into the pnl account in staff cost in year 2017 213,333 your live uh, other component of equity credit 213,333 and uh, 2018 you pnl charge 186,667 with that you have a balance of 400,000 third year you charge 290,000 with that you have the balance of 690,000 in your balance sheet right so that's how you have to apply this best estimate concept to this one right okay so we we'll look at the uh, the third uh, the third part uh, Look at this question question number four on first january 2017 entity grants 250 shares uh, options share options to each of its 200 employees the only condition attached to the grant is that the employees should continue to work for the entity until 31st december 2020 which means the vesting period is four years five employees leave during the year which is the average number of levers market price of each option was rupees 12 at 1st January 2017 and 15 at 31st December 2017 so here remember you have given two fair values available at the beginning of the year as well as at the end of the year why they have given those two to make you complicated but you know which rate to be applied you want to take the the fair value of the equity instrument at the grand date right okay so demonstrate how the transaction will be uh, reflected right reflected uh, in the financial statement for the year in the 31st December 2017 right okay so how you want to calculate right the 250 share options there 200 employees five employees leave during the year and you're expecting uh, this is the average number of levers that means for four years there will be how many employees 20 employees will be leaving from the companies right so you want to calculate it uh, you want to get uh, the uh, employees now number of employees is 200 one five employees will be leaving one for over a 
period of one year which means for, for four years there will be 20 employees uh, are leaving multiply by 250 options multiply by 12 rupee grant at the value day and this expense should be recognized over a period of four which is become 135 so you can debit that to the staff cost expense which is in the pnl and credit to the other component of equity which is in the financial uh, position right hope you understood uh, how to account for this uh, share based payment right okay then we come to a small subtopic important part which is called this vesting condition now already we have discussed about the vesting condition vesting condition in the sense like a condition that need to be satisfied right so when we discussed about this vesting condition we learned this vesting condition can be subdivided into uh, service condition and the performance condition right service this uh, the vesting condition can be divided into two two types of conditions service condition and the performance condition i think we already have discussed about the service conditions right service condition in the sense a number of years have to serve by an employee for the company right so we have already discussed like if you have to work for three years that means it's a service condition you have to work for the company for three years and there's another one called the performance condition what do you mean by this performance performance condition means the other party or that we call him the counterparty he need to complete some sort of a, a specified period of service and specified performance target what type of you can put a performance what type of achieving specified increase in the entity's profit that means achieving particular increase in the entity's profit i can the completion of research project to make a humble and i'm going to research a current only company could research a couple like a finding a company get a whole other end on it or else it says achieving specified increase in the entity's share price company ki share price ek neda achieving specified increase in the entity share price then ata api company ki share price ek thiyena rupiyal ci ai wow me ilanga avurudda weddi meka 120 karanna one devane avurudda meka 140 karanna one thungene avurudda meka 160 karanna one likewise they are attaching a performance condition also some performance when this when when we, when we considering about this performance condition this performance condition also again subdivided into two parts that is called the market condition and the non market condition that means if you look at these three condition examples you can see this share price share price in the sense market share price i can other share market ki rupees ci hai na which we call the market condition and even market condition market conditions in the sense if it is relating with the market price of the share if there's any condition attaching with the market price of the share we call it market condition other than that it's not market condition up here company key key and our employees that our do to not get a grand attorney ඒ අවුරුදු තුන වැඩ කරන අතරේ අවුරුදු තුනකුත් වැඩ කරන්නත් ඕනේ ඒත් එක්කම කම්පැනි එකේ ප්‍රොෆිට් එක 100ට 10 කින් හැම අවුරුද්දම වැඩි කරන්නත් ඕනේ අන්න එහෙම කිව්වොත් එහෙම එතන තියෙන්නේ there's a service condition also there's a non market condition why increasing profit is not related with the share price හැබැයි මෙහෙම එකක් දීලා තිබ්බොත් ඔයා කම්පැනි එකේ අවුරුදු තුනක් වැඩ කරන්නත් ඕනේ හැම අවුරුද්දෙම share price එක 100ට 10 10 වැඩි කරගෙන යන්නත් ඕනේ ආ if that is the case that is called it's a market condition it's a performance condition performance condition also we divided into two market and non market so if any condition is relating with the market condition we call sorry with the share price of the company we call it a market condition a market condition is defined by slfrs2 as the one that is related to the market price of the entity's equity shares example entity must attain a minimum share price by the vesting date share price to be 215 in two years time for the scheme uh, for scheme members to be eligible to participate in the share based payment scheme 
මාකට් ප්‍රයිස් ඔයාට මේ ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන් එක හම්බෙන්න දෙනවා ඔයා අවුරුදු දෙකකින් ෂෙයා ප්‍රයිස් එක 250 කරලා දෙන්නන්න ඕනේ දැන් market condition is there what is non market condition non market condition in the sense that your performance is related not to market price right it is not related to a market price it's something other than the market price now say for an example non market performance uh, uh, the condition include earnings per share or the profit target again again avurudu tunak yaddi mage earnings per share ekak rupiyal 12 ak karanna one අවුරුදු තුනක් යනකොට මගේ ප්‍රොෆිට් එක 125 කරලා 25කින් වැඩි වෙලා තියෙන දැනට තියෙන ප්‍රොෆිට් එකට වඩා 125කින් වැඩි වෙලා තියෙනවා we call the non market condition right why we need to learn about this conditions right now what we learn here we can we we learn here like under the vesting condition there are two types of vesting condition one is service condition the other one is performance condition service condition in the sense you have to work for the organization say for a five years or six years or three years four years right and the other one we call the performance condition that means you have to do some performance uh, also performance condition is divided into two parts that is market condition and non-market condition if there's any performance condition is related with the market price we call it market condition if it is other than any performance uh, uh, of the organization we call it a non-market condition right hope that you understood right why it is important for us to learn about this fact right if there is any market based condition which has been factored into the equity settled share based payment irrespective of whether the con market condition are satisfied or not you continue to be recognized the equity settled share based payment did get that right what it says if your equity settled share based payment is attaching with market based performance condition you not no need to worried about whether the market price of the shares is achieved without considering that you can continually recognize the expense now say for an example api sala questions deka thunak hedawane eki kiwi api punawa employee kenek me company ka awurudu thunak weda karoth you are eligible ehinda api kare expense ekak awurudu thunakin recognize kara api hitamu e question ekata ma thawa deela thiyena kiyala awurudu thunak company ekak weda karagena yanawa weda karana athari share price ekak denata thiyena share price ekak ci ai අවුරුදු තුන ඉවර වෙද්දි ෂෙයා ප්‍රයිස් එක 150කට ඉම්ප්‍රූව් කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා. අන්න ඒ වගේ මාකට් පර්ෆෝමන්ස් කන්ඩිෂන් එකකුත් මේක ඇතුලේ තියලා තිබුණොත් අපි කලින් ගාන හැදුව විදියටම හදාගෙන යනවා මාකට් කන්ඩිෂන් එක ඇට ඇප්ලයි වුණත් එකයි නැතත් එකයි කියලා. ඒ කියන්නේ රුපියල් 150ක වුණත් එකයි නැතත් එකයි 150ක වුණේ නැතත් අපි මොකද කරන්නේ? We continue to be recognized the expense. Why? this market based condition has already been factored into the fair value of the equity instrument me market condition ekka market condition api ara grand date ekke fair value ekka decide karanna e decide karaddi me market value ekka consider karala thamai e fair value ekka hadala thiyenne e hinda thamai api meka continue karagena issarata aragena yanne eda market price ekka achieve karath netha prashnayak ne e fact ekka api ara grand date ke fair value ekata incorporate karala thiyena e hinda mokada karala you continue to be recognized if it is non market condition that must be taken into account in determining where are the expense should be recognized in the period non market condition ekak na e kene profit eka 100 ta 10 ekin wedi karanna one kiyala condition ekak thibuno it is a non market condition na because it is not related with the share price ane e hinda e wage situation ekak thiyena na සියයට 10 ආවද නැද්ද කියන ෆැක්ටර්ස් උත් කන්සිඩර් කරලා තමයි මට මගේ එක්ස්පෙන්ස් එක රෙකග්නයිස් කරන්න ඕනේ රයිට් සෝ වි ලුක් ඇට දිස් ටු එක්සැම්පල්ස් ඇයි තින්ක් වන්ස් යු ඩන් විත් ද ටු එක්සැම්පල් වි ඩන් විත් ද ඉක්විටි සෙටල් ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් ඇන්ඩ් යු කැන් ගෙට් අ ගුඩ් අයඩියා අබවුට් දිස් වෙස්ටිං කන්ඩිෂන්ස් ඇස් වෙල් රයිට් ඔකේ රීඩ් ද ක්වෙස්චන් නම්බර් 5 ජනවරි 2018 100 එම්ප්ලොයිස් වර් ගිවන් 500 ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන්ස් ඊච් දීස් විල් වෙස්ට් Uh, if the employees still work for the entity on 31st december 2019 that is after 2 years and if the share price on that date is more than 50 and metana mokadda etota deela thiyenne 
share price එක කුත් දීලා 50. නේද? ඒ කියන්නේ මේක ඇතුලේ තියෙන මොනවද? service condition එකක් තියෙනවද? employee have to work from 2018 to 31st December 2019. employee have to work 2 years. plus they need to achieve 50 rupee what? Uh, the share price also at the end of the second year that means at the end of the at the end of 31st december 2009 as at, at 31st december 2019 the share price also would have been 50. on 1st january 2018 fair value of the option is 10 that is the fair value of the equity instrument at the grant date the share price on 31st december 2018 was 30. that is at the end of the first year in the share price Share price of Panaha in Donica was the thirty first December two thousand nineteen, May or the river with the thirty rupees. And it was considered unlikely that the share price would raise fifty. Our Deda Dahanami with the Rupel Panaha in Neti Viva Gila Hitanal. Ten employees left during the year in the thirty first December two thousand eighteen, and further ten are expected to leave in the following years. Then Mokabaka. If you look at this question, the question number five, right? If you look at this question, you can identify right there are like two conditions right mithana thiyena conditions deka neda me kethala thiyena conditions deka ekak mokada service condition what is the service condition employee have to work for 2 years second one there is what sort of performance condition performance condition tapi gena gatta part dekak thiyena monada market and non market mithana thiyena mona condition deka market condition deka market performance condition but it says market based performance condition which is the share price as at 31st December 2019, the share price of the company should be how much? 50. Right? So there are two conditions. Then we the karan. Expense can recognize the question. 30. Then share price is 31st December 2018 with the make 30 rupees. So it is unlikely that the share price will rise 50 by 31st March 2019. Uh, 31st December 2019. In the next video, we will see the next Why? This is what? Market based performance condition. So, for market based performance condition, irrespective whether the market based condition is achieved or not, we continue to be recognized. Why? When they deciding or when they determining the fair value of this 10 rupee, they have already factored this market condition when they determine the fair value of this 10 rupees. In the Mukhada Karani, we make a recognize Karagana. We have 500 share options. How many? Uh, 100 employees there. 100 employees multiply by, right? 100 employees multiply by 500, multiply by 10. But remember, 10 employees left during the year in the 31st December 2018 and further 10 are expected. That means altogether 20 employees is willing to be leaving. So you have to take 80 employees, multiply by 500 option, multiply by 10 years and over the wasting period of 2 years you recognize 200,000. So in financial statements, of course, debit 200,000 and other component of equity credit 200,000. So here, why we continue to be recognized this fact because uh, although it looks unlikely the share price target will be hit, this condition has already been factored into the fair value of the option at the grand date. Therefore, condition can be ignored when determining the change in the statement of profit or loss. Accordingly, the expense can be recognized. They make a the market-based performance condition. Right? Okay. Now we look at the question number six. Question number six. On 1st January 2017, an entity granted share option to each of its 200 employees subject to a three-year vesting period. Uh, three-year vesting period. Provided that volume of sales increased by minimum of 5% per annum throughout the vesting period. And then there is a vesting condition, service vesting condition as well as performance vesting condition also. Performance condition, performance condition, what sort of a performance condition? It is a not a market performance condition, it is a non-market performance condition. Now we have to be careful, not like market conditions. If it is a market 
based performance condition you continue to be recognized but this is not a market based performance condition this is what non market based performance condition now we want to satisfy that fact and that to also need to be considered when determining or estimating the uh, uh, the expense right okay a maximum 300 share options per employee will best depend upon the increase in the volume of the sales throughout each year of the vesting period as follows if the volume of sales increase by an average between 5 to 10 percent per year each eligible employees will receive 100 share options the company key sales sira pahad dahayat tatar pradesh adhegi ngay di unho employee kene kutte 100 share options hambi naal if volume of sales increase by average between 10 to 15 percent each eligible 200 share options if the volume of sales increase by average 15 percent per year each eligible share employees will receive 300 share options again me 300 share option ek komada hambenne ek wara hambena adane company 300 share option hambena habai sales wedi karanna one kochchara kata wada 15 percent wada wedi karoth itharai 300 nettam if it is 5 to 10 100 share option if it is 10 to 15 200 share options but if it is more than 15 percent only you are eligible to get the 500 300 share options at the grand date estimated that fair value of each option was 10 rupee and that the increase in the volume of the sales each year would be uh, would be to 10 to 15 percent appear 10 to 15 percent hitra vehicle at the grand date it was also estimated that total of 22% of employees would leave prior to the end of the vesting period at each reporting date within the vesting period. The situation was as the follows. So, we have to say that we have to employees that we have to say that 22% employees that we have to say that. Right. And transaction happened during the period. We have to say that the reporting period in 2017 employees leaving in the year is 8. Simply 22% IING week here, you know, Megalo Hadala deal at the neck at the employees IING will again the first year. KD, right? Eight employees has left in the first year. Further leavers expected to prior the vesting is 18. Yandakali, Machara Kaikila, the expect Karano. Average annual increase in the sales volume is 14%. Second year, K, another six employees had actually left, and four is expected and average increase in the salary sales is 16 percent third year actually two left and average is 16 percent calculate the impact of the above share based payment scheme on the entity's financial statement for the each reporting period right okay why look at the uh, the the question in your tutorial we'll try to uh we'll try to uh the question as well right okay right so how we can calculate this now what are the important factors that you want to take uh, first January 2017 that is the grant date entity grant share option to each of its 200 employees the company has 200 employees subject to three-year vesting period right so expense have to be divided by three Provided that the volume of the sales increased by 5% per throughout the vesting period, a maximum of 300 employee share options. Okay. These three factors are also given, right? 5 to 10%, uh, 100%, 200, and uh, 300. And uh, also given the fair value of the share option at the grant date. And... Uh, initially they believe that uh, their expected rate is 10 to 15 percent range right 10 to 15 percent 10 to 15 percent which means 200 share options right estimate the total uh, they estimate total number of employees to be leave by the company will be around uh, approximately around 22 percent uh, there are 200 employees right 200 employees they are expecting uh, uh, 22 percent to go now uh, but what happened in the first year? Uh, first year, they, uh, they, uh, the actual uh, number of employees who left the company is 8 and 18. So, there's a small, like, 
contradiction එකක් වගේ ඔයාලට පේන්නේ මෙතන 22% කියලා තියෙනවා මෙතන දීලා තියෙනවා නේ ද we have to go with the uh, go with the uh, the most uh, best estimate nee so actually eight people have leave no and they expecting 18 we can go with this rather than taking 22% nee da it was estimated that the total of 22% would leave prior to the end of the wasting period that means this is at the at the end of the third day or the two name ne ethaka ehinda meekata gannata wada apita me base ekin giyot eka tikak most reliable an average uh, increment rate is is 14% uh, which we are expecting 14% ena kiyala kiyanne ya inne koi category ekeda me me percentage ekey thama inne ne eda 10 to 15% kiyana 10 to 15% kiyana uh, uh, category ekethra thama inne ne eda right right okay so uh, now uh, m uh, in that uh, we'll see uh, how we're going to check this out right uh, right so there are two conditions like one service condition and a non non market based condition because uh, the expense have to be or the uh, uh, sales have to be increased by right so percentage particular percentage right um right so for the first year first year uh we can expect now there are 200 employees right there are 200 employees see the 200 employees and uh during the year eight people left and another 18 to be leave and the salary increment rate is 14% in that case we want to consider uh, how many uh, share options which category they belong is it for the first one or second second one right 10 to 15 14% right so you want to consider 200 share option fair value of the share option is 10 rupee and multiply by 1/3 so 160 what happened in the second year second year actually six people left and first year eight second year with the eight uh, six uh, it is 14 plus another four all together 18 and the second year they are expected uh, salary increment rate is 16% which is come to this third category so in that case they are eligible for 300 share options so 200 minus first year eight second year six and third year four expecting they are expecting uh, yeah they are expecting four here right So, and multiply by 300 share option multiply by 2 10 and this liability should be equal to 2/3 so the liability will be 364 and third year what happen another 10 people two people left all together uh, 16 people left right and still their increment rate uh, salary uh, the sales increment rate is 16% which is comes to this third category so they are eligible to get 300 employees 300 uh, share options so with that your liability should be 552000 so this is how the expenses and the liability equity should be recorded in the financial statement right so the learning point of this example or the question is you want to determine the non market based uh, performance condition when you estimating the uh, liability or the equity uh, uh, you have to consider this non market condition not like the market conditions right when it come to the market condition whether it is achieved or not still you continue to be recognized but here what happened without recognizing without uh, 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 when you measuring the equity settle share based payment when there is a non market based performance condition you want to consider that fact and whether uh, if if the particular non market condition achieved or not depending on that you want to determine the um, uh, the particular number of uh, uh, share options going to be vest right okay so that is the end of the first chapter that is uh, equity settled share based payment the second we move to the cash settled share based payment this is not much uh, lengthier than the equity settled share based payment since most of the things we have already learned here only a few things that we learn. need to learn, learn right okay now so far we discussed about the equity settled share based payment under the equity settled share based payment what we uh, learned was uh, if we get a service from an employee or other than an employee in return 
we are giving them shares or share option of the company but what is it different how it get different with the cash settled share based payment in a cash settled share based payment instead of paying what equity we are paying cash for them based on the share price of the entity understood right based on the share price it looks it's like now after three years i am agreeing to pay you an amount which is equal to the share price of the company i am giving you say i am taking a service from you at the end of the three year period i am giving you a payment based on the share price prevailing at that time uh, that is called the share base uh, cash settled share base payment right a share based payment transaction in which the entity acquires goods or a service in incurring a liability ඔන්න මතක දෙයක් ඉස්සල් එකේ අපි කරේ අවුරුදු තුනේ ඉවරනට පස්සේ යාට ෂෙයාස් ගන්න ඔප්ෂන් එකක් දුන්නේ විච් වි කැටගරයිස් අන්ඩර් ది ඉක්විටි හැබැයි දැන් අපි ෂෙයාස් දෙන්නේ දැන් ඒ විදිහට දෙන්නේ සල්ලි කෑෂ් ඒන්ද අපි මොකද්ද රෙකග්නයිස් කරන්නේ කෑෂ් අපි රෙකග්නයිස් කරන්න ඕනේ ඉක්විටි එකක් නෙමෙයි අපි රෙකග්නයිස් කරන්න ඕනේ ලයබිලිටි එකක් සෝ ඉන්කරින් අ ලයබිලිටි ටු ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆර් කෑෂ් ඕ අදර් ඇසෙට්ස් ටු ද සප්ලයර් ඔෆ් දෝස් ගුඩ්ස් ඔර් අ සර්විස් ෆෝ අමවුන්ට්ස් දැට් ආ බේස්ඩ් ඔන් ද ප්‍රයිස් ඕ වැලියු ඔෆ් ද ඉක්විටි ඉන්ස්ට්‍රුමන්ට් ඔෆ් ද එන්ටිටි ඕ අදර් ග්‍රූප් ඔෆ් එන්ටිටි එක්සැම්පල් ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් ග්‍රාන්ටඩ් ටු ද එම්ප්ලොයිස් දැන් මේ දැන් ගොඩක් වෙලාවට ඔයාලට ඉස්සලා අපි කතා කරපු හැම එකකම තිබි ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන්ස් දුන්නා වගේ ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් කියලා කියන්නේ ඉන්ස්ට්‍රුමන්ට් එකක් හරියට අපිට ෂෙයාස් හම්බෙනවා වගේ අවුරුදු තුනක් ගියාට පස්සේ ෂෙයාස් දෙනවා වගේ අපිට අවුරුදු තුනකින් ෂෙයාස් ගන්න ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන්ස් දෙනවා වගේ අද මම යාලට දෙනවා ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් ඒකත් හරියට ෂෙයා ඔප්ෂන් එකක් වගේම තමයි බයි හෝල්ඩින් දිස් ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් ඉන් ෆියුචර් යු කැන් ගෙට් කැෂ් දැන් ඔයාලා ඔයාලට අද දෙනවා ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් සීයා ඒක තියාගෙන හිටලා අවුරුදු තුනක් යනකොට ෂෙයා එකක එක වැලියු එක වගේ තු සීයක් ඔයාලට හම්බෙනවා කැෂ් අන්න එකට තමයි කියන්නේ ෂෙයා ඇප්‍රිසියේෂන් රයිට්ස් රයිට් ද එම්ප්ලොයිස් බිකම් එන්ටයිටල්ඩ් ෆියුචර් කෑෂ් පේමන්ට්ස් බේස්ඩ් ඔන් ද ඉන්ක්‍රීස් ඉන් ද එන්ටිටිස් ෂෙයා ප්‍රයිස් ෆ්‍රොම් ස්පෙෂලයිස්ඩ් ලෙවල් ඕවර් ඇ ස්පෙසිෆයිඩ් පීරියඩ් ඔෆ් ටයිම් රයිට් සෝ දැට් ඉස් කෝල් ද ෂෙයා කෑෂ් ෂෙඩල් ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් රයිට් ඔකේ හවු ටු මෙෂර් ද කෑෂ් ෂෙඩල් ෂෙයා බේස් පේමන්ට් මෙතනදී අර වගේ කම්ප්ලිකේටඩ් නෑ රිමෙම්බර් the entity re measure the fair value of the liability arising under the cash settled payment at each reporting date hondara mata kiya ganna issel api katha kare monawa gena da equity settled share based payment kohomada measure karanna kiwwe fair value ekata kavadata da ganna kiwwe fair value ekata ganna kiwwa grant at the grant date e kiyanne fair e option eka deepu grant date eke tibba fair value ekata thama equity eka measure karanna kiyala kiwwe but in the cash settled share based payment what happened cash settled share based payment you remeasure at each reporting date are ke kiwe monawa you want to measure it at the grant date fair value then monawa kiyanne you want to remeasure it the fair value which is prevail at the reporting date e kiyanne accounts hadana balance sheet date ekak thiyena ne hem awurudu tunak nan hem awurudu iwara wena kota me iwara wena awurudde balance sheet date ekata you want to remeasure the liability here there is no any equity here you have a liability right okay entity should remeasure the fine fair value of the liability at each reporting date until the liability is settled and at the date of settlement any changes in the fair value is recognized in the profit or loss a lie api asia appreciation rights tike minisunta gewala daana kan mokada karanna one remeasure karanna one balance sheet ekke right this is different from accounting for the equity settled share based payment we are the fair value is fixed at the grant date can you remember when we discussed the equity settled share based payment itana fair value ekak fix kara kavada the grant date ekak fair value den ehema kiyanne den mokada karanne hama reporting date ekata api remeasure karala balanawa meke thiyena liability amount ekak right so earlier how you put the double entry you debit the expense account and credit the equity account now where you credit now you credit that to the liability account rather than the equity account right okay okay now uh, the next thing is the allocating the expense to the reporting period it also looks like the same in the equity settled share based payment where the service are receiving in ex- exchange for a cash settled share based payment the expense is recognized over the period that is service are rendered that is again the vesting period this is the same principle as the equity settled share based transactions right okay look at this example 
an entity has reporting date on the of 31st December on 1st January 2017 entity grants 100 share appreciation rights share appreciation rights on the mother of the other and exam make it to share appreciation rights can watch in a decade on more value to know the cut away look at the this should be a cash settled share base payment not a equity settled share base payment may be equity settled share base payment take it in a book of the curry appear to do me company key shares net and company key to share options share purchase current have been then then even on the him she asked then name that she options then name then name another share appreciation rights you can out to gonna be out of us a me appreciation right to be skull you can take not shares you can take cash into your head right so the the company has given um, hundred share options to each of 300 employees on the condition that they have to continue to work until 31st December 2019 so still like in the equity settler share based payment they, there's a service condition during 2017 20 employees leave the entity estimate that further 40 will leave during 2018 and 19 during 2018 10 people leave the entity estimate that further 20 will leave in 2019 during 2019 10 people leave the fair value of the share appreciation rights at each reporting date is given below so 2017 18 19 then up the q1 up equity settle share based payment taken up a curry fair value with a grand date to get again a came a measure car have a then him a park you want it thank you not trying to kill it have a reporting date take a day make free measure current make it a cure so that's how they have given the fair value of the share prices at each reporting date calculate the expense of the each three years to be uh, uh, years of the scheme and liability to be recognized in the statement of financial position as of 31st December right earlier we discussed we want to recognize an equity now we want to recognize a liability right we'll see with our question in the tooth right this is the question okay uh, this is an example the answer is anyway in your tutorial right anyway we look at right so what happened in the first year mm, uh, we are giving uh, 100 share options right so in yeah, earlier we recognize equity here but here we recognize a liability now because there's no an equity we are not going to give shares right in the first year 2017 how many employees the entity has the entity has uh, uh, 300 employees right 300 employees entity has 300 employees what happened in 2017 20 employees leave and entity estimate further 40 will leave so 2017 20 already left and they expect another 40 is going to be leave so we deduct those two and each will eligible 100 share appreciation rights multiply by which uh, value you want to take now you want to take the fair value of this value at each reporting date how much is at the 31st uh, December 2017 the fair value is 10 so you recognize this over one over three year period you charge PNL 80,000 and credit to the liability account 30,000 80,000 sorry 80,000 in second year what happened uh, still you have 300 employees out of that first year already 20 people left second year Ten, another 10 people left actually and they are expecting first 20 will be leaving so 20 10 and 20 that is multiplied by 100 options now again you want to remeasure your liability at 12 why cash it will share base payment you want to remeasure at 12 so liability should be equal to two third which comes to 100,000 so a difference is charged to the PNL account and third year 2019 you have to 300 employees First year 10, 20 people left, second year 10 people left and third year also 10 people left altogether 40 people left and multiply by 100 and your liability is remeasured to its uh, three, uh, the 15. So your liability should be 390,000, the balance of 190,000 you charge to the PNL. Now you can see the difference. It's charged to the PNL uh, 800,000, 120,000 and uh, 190,000 to PNL. And rather than crediting this to the other component of equity, here it has credit to the liability account. So you can see the difference between the equity settle and the cash settle share base payment from that. Right? Okay. Right. 
finally we talk about this the value of the share appreciation rights share appreciation rights may be exercised over a period of time the fair value of each share appreciation right comprise the intrinsic value the cash amount payable based upon the share price at the date together with its time value based upon the fact that the share price will vary over the time we can then api make a then api then employees lata dena ani me share appreciation right tik me share appreciation right tik employees lata dunnata e employee ta dena share appreciation right tik api kiyana ne aurudu tunak oya me share appreciation right tik tiya ganna aurudu tune urunata passe api oyata pay karanna cash amount ekak key addu man giyawa nanne cash amount ekata thamai api kiyanne me share appreciation right tik share appreciation right tik api kiyana ekata api kiyana intrinsic value ekak kiyala इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू के लिए हरियटम का मूर्त वटना अग्य इंट्रेंसीक्चना से फर् एग्जापल अभी मेम हित वादगी मार्केट की गण मरुटी कायक अभी हित मरुटी कायक गण ब्रेंड न्यू मरुट कायक अभी गुलाक्षपाल वन पाइंट फाइव मिलियन पर्चेकूल मार्केट की इतोट हाउर हर की मरुट कायक पेनला लक्ष पन की बै never you buy why it is not worth 5 million it may be worth for 1.5 million but it it may not worth 5 million ai api danna ai yakada goda ai eke thina technology kai 5 million wat inne but it may be worth 1.5 million api hitamuko me kale maruti kayaka gaana hari adui kiyala nattam parana maruti is enne nattam anne e hinda araga 1.550 walta purchase karana wenna puluwa but i am too sure i am not going to buy a 5 मुखद एक वटिनाक वन पॉइंट फाइव हेब मेखा वेड नारूट का मुखदरा एडिशनल फिफ्टी थे गंड रेडी दैट वैल्यू वी कॉल बट इंट्रेंसी वैल्यू सो वे यू हॉल एनी शेर अप्रिसन रईट यू आलो गेटिंग दैट वैल्यू हव यू डिटर्मी दट शेर अप्रिसन रईट The fair value of the share appreciation right comprises intrinsic value, that is the cash amount payable based on the share price at that date, together with its time value based upon the fact that the share price will vary over the time. And name value we get that my api shareholders lata pay karanne. When share prices are exercised, they are accounted for their intrinsic value at the exercise date. Samanne api me then api kiwa ni. कंपनी के गे इक्विटी सेटल शेयर बेस पे बना उर्दू तुना गेट पास आठ पुलवा आपशन यूज कर शेयर पर्चे कर अब्रिसन रईट्स नेता कैश सेटल शेयर बेस पे मन पर दिखाने शेयर अप्रिसन रईट्स एवट शेयर हम बेन एवं साल हम बेन की अद साल हम बेन इंट्रेंसी वैल्यू अमौंट इवे शेयर साल हम बेन right okay so we'll try with this a question question number 7 i think with that you can get a good idea about how to account for this Uh, cash settle and share based payment right okay read the question on 1st january 2016 an entity grants 200 share appreciation rights to each of its 500 employees on the condition that they continue to work for entity for 2 years at 1st january 2016 the entity expect that 25 employees of these employees will leave each year during 2016 Twenty employees leave, and the entity expect the same year will have on uh, uh, on the sec uh, the second uh, and the entity expect that same number will uh, leave in the second year. During two thousand seventeen, twenty four employees leave. The share appreciation rights vest on thirty first December two thousand eighteen. Ekane two thousand eighteen valin passe yaar to pulva me share appreciation right minister unda sali diila gaanda, right? Exercise and two thousand eighteen nineteen they can exercise on thirty first December two thousand and eighteen two hundred fifty seven of the employees eligible um, employees exercise their share appreciation rights in full. What happened? Me company ke kiwa right? All the vidas da hating passe me tike share tike. दीला साली एप्रिशिएशन राइट्स दीला साली गान ना पुलवां क्यों हुआ अब एम्प्लॉयज़ ने हिट पुआ गिन 257 एम्प्लॉयज़ लम को देते रहे अलग दीला साली टीका गाता द रिमेनिंग एलिजिबल एम्प्लॉयज़ एक्सरसाइज देर शेयर एप्रिशिएशन राइट्स इन फुल लम 31 दिसंबर 2019 इतनी ओक्को मतलब 31 दिसंबर 2019 में दी साली टीका गाता The fair value and the intrinsic value of the share appreciation rights was as follows. Now you have been given both fair value of the share appreciation rights as well as the intrinsic value of the share appreciation right. 
the re it is required calculate the amount to be recognized as remuneration expense in the statement of profit or loss together with the liability to be recognized in the statement of financial position for the two years period calculate the amount to be recognized as remuneration expense and reported as a liability in the statement of financial position for uh, statement for each of the two years end of 31st December 2018 Mola Urdu Deke Kohumadu Antima Urdu Deke Koi Vidhira Deme Ava Recognize Kana Iye Keta Pa Mee Suga Atta Tekka Nene Da Right Are you clear the question look at the the important points that we should uh, uh, we should learn right if you go to the uh, your tutorial you can see mm, right okay on 1st January 2016, entity grants 200 share appreciation, right? So that number we need. And how many employees there? 500 employees there. At 1st January 2017, the uh, the entity expect 25 of the employees will leave. During what happened 2016, 20 employees leave. All right? What happened exactly during 2016, 20 employees leave and entity expect same number will be leaving for the second year also right so based on that shall we calculate the the liability for the first year right okay so also you have given the fair value of the intrinsic value that is at the first year end it's five second year end seven third year end eight and fourth year end ten and intrinsic value is also given so it should be fair value per share appreciation rights and this wording should comes to here intrinsic value per sh share appreciation right right this uh, amount this figure should comes to come come to this place right intrinsic value as per the share appreciation rights okay right now we'll calculate the liability for the first year in how many employees we have we have 500 employees minus 20 already leave and we expect another 20 to be leave so entire 40 employees will be leaving at the first year right 500 minus first year 20 and second year they're expecting another 20 to go each will get 200 share options multiplied by the fair value at the reporting date is 5. This vesting period is how many years? 2 years. So you divide the expense by 2. Debit 230,000 to the expense and credit liability 230,000. What happened in the second year? Second year, the first year 20 employees left. No? Second year, exactly 24 employees left. So anyway, these 44 employees are not eligible to get this share appreciation rights, isn't it? First year 20 left, the second year 24 left. Each get equal to 400 in, uh, the share appreciation rights. Again, you want to remeasure. Now, don't forget, uh, don't mix up with this the uh, the equity settled share base payment. Why in the equity settled share base payment you remeasure it uh, with the uh, you you didn't remeasure it with the reporting date value. You measured it the f the fair value prevailed at the grant day, but not it in the cash settle share base payment you want to remeasure it by using 7 so your liability should be equal to 2 over 2 which means no need to multiply it so your liability should be 634,800 so that's how you recorded this liability in the financial statement uh, in the first year right okay now what happened that's how you should recognize that in the financial statement and what happened now the share appreciation rights west on 31st December 2018 at the end of the third year the people can take money by selling this right by that date your liability has increased to how much eight this is at the end of the third year right and how many people have taken their money by uh, realizing 257 eligible people they have utilized their share appreciation rights on this date right okay now we'll see now we have a balance of uh, now the the number of employees eligible for the cash employment is 456 isn't it think 500 employees la me 500 employees lagging right me 500 employees lagging 500 employees lagging 20 employees lag here right in the first year 20 employees left and second year 24 employees left so we have 456 employees la e king right 257 question 257 employees la mokada kare 31st december 2018 when exercise karalu 199 
ඒගොල්ලෝ exercise කරලා තියෙන 31st December 2019 right අපි මේක හදලා බලමුකෝ right year end 31st December 2018 ඔයාලට මතකද දැන් මෙතන question එකේ බැලුවොත් ඔයාලට මතකයි මේ හරිය මේ අපේ company එකේ liability එක කොච්චරක් තිබ්බද 638400 අපි ගාව liability එකක් තිබ්බා 638400 මතකයි නේද liability ගත්ත කොහොමද කියලා Liability का पिकाव तीबा six hundred thirty eight thousand four hundred liability का तीबा पिकाव right so we recorded that six hundred thirty eight thousand four hundred इट पासे making employees ला two hundred and fifty seven मकत करने में share appreciation rights दिख दी रहा साली गत two hundred and fifty seven people share appreciation rights दिला यार लड़ एक किन कुछ share appreciation rights को अच्छा लगती है ना उधर एक किन कुछ share appreciation rights थी ना two hundred तो इतने 257 people take 200 share appreciation rights. Mona value we get the other to give an arc intrinsic value we get. So, how much is the intrinsic value? 7 rupee. Intrinsic value we get the same as all the day. Right? That is 7 rupee. The coach of me could be liability in Saliga and other 257 people using their 200 option at 7 rupee. They are taking money of 3 259 259 800. Then me 259,800 the employees la 199. employees la 199 employees la me aurudde salli ganne ne. Tav aurudda tiyak tiyagena inna. Me price ekak poddak wedi wenak kan kiyala. Ne da price ekak podda wedi wenak kan kiyala. Ehena api karanna oni e 188 employees la ge thiyena me liability ekak. A would the net thirty first December two thousand eighteen well a closing fair value. I remember right? How many how many uh, employees we have? Hundred and ninety nine employees. Yeah, that two hundred share options gone. Me liability ka pi remember karagan na eight dwelling medical la, which is comes to three hundred and eighteen thousand four hundred. The difference is how much? Thirty nine thousand eight hundred. We have to recognize as an expense. Hari the. If you want to make a T account, you can make a T account. Cash at share based payment liability. Opening balance is 638,400. Right? If you want to share appreciation rights, you can make a T account. If you want to make a T account, you can ඒගොල්ලෝ තව යාළුවගේ share appreciation right exercise කරේ නේ. එයාලට සල්ලි හම්බෙන්න intrinsic value. ඒක හරි. හැබැයි අපි measure කරන්න කියලා කිව්වේ කොහොමද standard එක? You want to take the fair value of the instrument at the reporting date. ඒකට නිගන්න කිව්වේ. එහෙනම් ඒ reporting date එකේ මෙයාගේ fair value එක කොච්චරක් තියෙනවද? 8. එහෙනම් මොකද කරනවා වගේ liability එක වා measure කරගත්තම ඒක 8 වලට. අන්න ඒකෙන් difference එක ගත්තොත් ඒ balancing figure එක වා මොකද කරේ PNL එකට expense එකක් විදිහට debit කරන difference එක. Right. What happened in 2019? In 2019, you have the opening balance of how much? 380,400 opening balance. I have to pay for this. I have to pay for this. Intrinsic value. That means they are taking money. 199. 300, uh, uh, they have 200 uh, each. Right? 199 multiplied by 200 multiplied by intrinsic value. I have to pay for this. 10 rupees. Right, taking very karam, we got cash hambi na. That closing balance ka kti end pulu and the bani. Right, in a difference ka hima to a pn ne lekhte da. Right, take a T account ekhte da mo. Me dear tamai record de ne difference ka bhi pn ne lekhte charge karna expense ka kti dia ta under staff expenses. So that's how you want to record cash settled share based payment. Right. Hope you got an understanding about how to record the cash settled and equity settled share based payment. And finally, we'll look at quickly the disclosures related to the share based payment. Right, okay. So, disclosures under disclosures. Under disclosures, uh, uh, in the uh, share based payment transaction is expecting or requires some extensive disclosure, comprehensive disclosures relating to the uh, uh, share based payment, right? 
SLFRS2 requires information should be disclosed that enable user to financial statement understand nature and extent of the share based payment that existed during the period. Nature ka, cash telekata, kitty settle lekata, right? Understand how the fair value of the goods or the service received or the fair value of the equity instrument uh, granted during the period was determined. How you determine the fair value based on what I think when you do the fair value standard you can get a good idea about the, but the, this but remember how to determine the fair value that also a determinant factor right understand that effect of share based payment transaction on companies profit or loss for the period and its financial position up here again the PNL on the pin on the balance sheet to give on the pin and right that you want to disclose other than that uh, nature under the nature and the extent of the share based payment what you want to disclose that's what it says a description of each type of share based payment arrangement that exercise during the year right monado agi company ki which share based trans transaction cash shuttle dekakdune equity shuttle dekakdune right the number of weighted average exercise prices of the share options outstanding at the start of the period granted uh, during the period uh, forfeited during the period uh, exercise during the period, expired during the period, outstanding at the end of the period, and the exercise were at the uh, year end period. Neither or the mula with the coacher, uh, equity settle share based the by the share appreciation rights, the by the may or the key a kicking utilize kra the closing balance a key, right? The weighted average share price of share options exercise during the period at as at the date of the exercise, right? And the range of exercise prices and the weighted average remaining contractual life for the share options outstanding at the end of the period right those kind of uh, information you can disclose and determination of the fair value how to determine the fair value right for the share option granted during the period the weighted average fair value of those option at the measurement date and information on how the fair value was measured you can think about cloud slfr is 13 standard it got to me a fair fair value commission current minimum methodology you know so how you determine the fair value right um, and for other equity instrument granted in the period the number of weighted average fair value of those instrument at the measurement date and information on how fair value was measured details of share based payment arrangement that were modified during the period right when our share based payment transaction can modify during the period when our condition change that fact you want to disclose and finally the effects of the share based payment the total expense recognized in the pnl and the liabilities arise from the share based transaction the total carrying amount and the intrinsic value at the end of the period of the liabilities which the right of the cash is uh, uh, the hash vested right those information is required to be disclosed in relating to the uh, share based payment transaction hope you understood about the share based uh, uh, base payment transactions uh, uh well uh, and uh, we'll uh, discuss about the other uh, the past paper questions uh, related to this on later uh, thank you very much